Hi, it's Karen here. Thank you for joining me. Today I thought I'd make some tags to go into my little Beatrix Potter cover uh, journal. Um, this one here, um, that's, the, that's the cover and there's a, a few more pages that I've added but I'll show you that um, in a little bit. But I thought we would uh, make some tags so hopefully um, you'll find this uh, interesting and you'll uh, journal along with me. But this is the size that I'm going to be working to. So these are the background um, paintings that I've done. This is I like to work in my sketchbook because then I can work quite uh, intuitively. And then once I've cut them down they I can use them for tags or writing spaces I find that it, it just works easier for me that when I do it like that um, so this is what I've been been doing um, so I thought we would do a, a fresh one so I've got my watercolor paints here but you can use whatever um, paints you have Oh, silly me, I forgot to get some water. Two shakes. Won't go very far without some water, will we? So, there we go. Um, so, what I like to do is just just do a scribble just make it nice and loose and um, and just get rid of that white paper okay now i'm using a size four uh, watercolor brush but you use whatever brush you have now i'm going into black and i'm just Again, working very intuitively, just dropping, just dropping it in there. I, I like to do this because it, it just gives a little bit of contrast to what we're we're working to, and and I think it just helps you get rid of that um, that white paper which sometimes can be a bit daunting, can't it? Now, with my size four round, now I'm only using these because that's what I've got close to hand, but you can use whatever color, um, sorry, whatever size brush you have. Now, I'm just gonna drop some color just in between the marks that I've made and varying up the degree of um, intense of, of paint, a pigment of the paint that I'm putting on, um, meaning that the, the more water I use, the more um, translucent it'll be, and it'll be more diffused, the color will be more diffused. <clears throat> so, I'm working straight from my pan in my paintbrush, in, in my paint box. Now you can mix up on a palette if you prefer, or on a plate, whatever you have, which works, which works well for you. Okay. Now let's give some splash of of colour. Um, didn't really clean my brush out that well. A bit muddy, but hey. And just vary your marks up as well with your brush. Um, and if you want to, you can um, uh, just be as spontaneous as you want. Um, you get really nice results by doing that i love this super orange i just think it just is so lovely and it 
it is really lovely and easy to do and it makes your tags just a little bit more special because you've painted them right i'm just gonna drop in some this is a turquoisey color so and i'm not paying too much attention i'm just just dropping that in like so okay so you've got a really nice covering in your sketchbook okay now what i'm going to do i've got this um i don't even know where i got this from but it's it, you can use a twig you could actually use the end of your paintbrush if you wanted to and just drag like we did with our pencil just drag it through like so okay lovely now i'm just going to get this um scrapey thing this scrapey tool <laughs> and i'm just moving just moving the paint about okay just making marks and that's always great to do now i'm looking for um, i'm going to be using a fiber pen now this one looks like it's now on its last legs but it's it's got a really nice fine tip on it now i'm not going over my um wet wet paint because it will clog uh it will clog my um fine liner up i'm just squiggling these lovely small um little marks and just dance just dance away all over your paper. Nice and free, nice and loose. Don't get caught up saying, oh, you know, I've got to make a masterpiece. No, you haven't. This is about having fun with your with your paper and your um and paints. Now I've got some really nice uh washi tape here. So I think I'm just going to tear that down the middle and I'm just going to put it on my just going to put it on my page anything else that you've got lying about that's that's quite good okay I've just seen on my desk some little watercolour little um, little paintings that I did um, they'd be quite good just to I'm just finding anything just looking for anything that I've got this was this was on my desk so hey why not let's let's use that let's uh yeah and then with some uh glue i'm just gonna stick that on like so doesn't have to be fantastically stuck on just to give you a bit of a a clue on how it's going to look so just get your glue and this is a good way of working because you get that really lovely spontaneous looking tag after or writing space that makes nice that makes um it makes a nice different kind of writing space because the the back is is completely clear uh 
it doesn't have anything um, on the back so that's that's great so let's just pop oh I had a bit on my on my hand not worried not worried about that at all it's a happy accident don't just be lovely and intuitive and free and and just have just have a really nice experience of creating okay right so let me just put a little bit under petal there um i think i do have a tutorial on how i painted these um further further down um so if you're interested in on how to how to paint these um check that out because that's quite that's quite fun and it's uh good because i like to paint on photocopier paper which gives um a really nice gives a really nice effect now i like to just do there is a name for it um i call it scribble writing but it's where you write but you can't read actually what it says but i just like to just put some of this of this scribble writing because i just think it lends itself to it um, and of course when we um come to uh, cut it uh, up into our our size different size of our um, tags it will look different again okay now I can't cut these um, right now because they're they're too wet and it will my paper cutter would just will not like it at all and I don't like cutting with scissors because I, I don't get a nice clean edge. So um, what I'm going to do is just re-stick that down there. I'm going to leave that here and then we're going to have a catch up um, on another little video just when I'm starting to cut these up to make the tags. So I'm going to set that one aside um, and then you can have a quick look at uh, what I've been doing in my um, in my little journal. Um, I did a fussy cutting um, out of a, a, a book that I had. I was gifted, and I'm going to use that. Uh, excuse me. Um, I'm going to use that as a as a tuck spot because I think that will make quite enough maybe not with that with that tuck spot <laughs> that um tag but maybe with that with a little tag like that so that's going in there I have used I've painted on um on this one and as you know I really adore uh the um metallic paints so there's that one I think oh and I've just painted um, some little watercolor leaves on that page um, and there just giving you a quick just thinking about what I can put on that one again there's a video on um, a tutorial on, on how to paint these uh, little um, butterfly for your uh, butterflies for your ephemera um, on you know on on my channel. So if you want to check that out, that's just I was just playing about using some um, watercolor paint and using a little bit of uh, saran wrap or um, it's. Uh, you know that that works that works really nicely you get these nice indentations when the paint dries um just more watercolor i think you've seen most of these now i will be 
um, I will be stitching this in uh, soon and then it can go to its uh, its owner and that'll be good and um, hopefully she'll have lots of fun with it and 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 enjoy and enjoy our journal well that's where we are so far so i hope i hope you uh like how it's coming along and um i'll see you again soon so take care bye <laughs>